Hi there, welcome to Hear the Word. I'm Dr. Jerry Creed. I'm here with my co-host, Dr. Peter Malinowski, and this is the podcast where we read to you the Sunday readings. This is the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time that we're reading, and we're so excited to be with you. We hope you sit back and enjoy these readings. Uh, after the readings, we hope you join us. Hop over to Be With The Word, which was our which is our main event podcast, where uh, Dr. Peter and I will explore these readings with a psychological perspective. And in particular, this time, we're going to be looking at the question of being lost. And our topic is no longer lost. And we're actually going to be doing an experiential activity, prayer activity with you to help you discover your true self, to really see who you are, if we can, the way God does. So we hope you join us there. All right. Uh, so here we go with our readings for the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. So the first reading is from the 22nd chapter of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace, I will thrust you from your office and pull you down from your station. On that day, I will summon my servant, Eliakim, son of Hil Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe, gird him with your sash, and give over hi to him your authority. He shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place the key of the house of David on Eliakim's shoulder. When he opens, no one shall shut. When he shuts, no one shall open. I will fix him like a peg in a sure spot to be a place of honor for his family. The Responsorial Psalm Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. I will give thanks to your name because of your kindness and your truth. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. The Lord is exalted, yet the lowly he sees, and the proud he knows from afar. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not forsake the work of your hands. The second reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 11. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How inscrutable are his judgments and how unsearchable his ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has been his counselor, or who has given the Lord anything that he may be repaid? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. The Gospel of St. Matthew in chapter 16. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, 
and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. All right, so thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you over at Be With The Word. Until then, be still. Believe. Be loved. Be loved. Take good care. God bless you all.